close enough to fit. Well, what's the other one? How about the other template? Oh, they're different? Yeah, one's two and a half and one's oh, two and seven enough. eighths. It's close enough. It's two and seven eighths. There's close enough and there's right. <laughs> so we're going to go with right. And it's probably three inches just like the other windows that okay. we ordered. So, okay, so close enough and right are two different things, whatever. Uh, Support the vertical. Well, the ones that will run horizontally to determine the vertical height. Um, and so, in doing that, <clears throat> we have three different sizes of windows. And so, what I'm going to do for the first two sets, I'm going to make these jigs to be my spacers out of wood. And that'll allow me to go in there. And I, and I know I got the first piece level. And this will allow me to go in for the second piece and put one of these on either side. And know that within a relative degree that I'll be square and true. What we're doing is we're actually framing the hole an eighth inch wider than what the window calls for. And that extra eighth inch is our kind of like our buffer in case anything's not perfect, but also to allow for any uh, window seal that we want to put in there, whether it's something like butyl tape or weather stripping we haven't decided that yet so um, it'll just give us a little flexibility with the fit but you can see right here this bar is the top bar um, it's just tacked in got a couple tacks on the outside right there and a couple tacks in the back and I can hold this piece of wood up and use it as my uh, reference and then the new piece of metal will go right underneath this piece of wood. So it's going to be hard to decide, this is the wrong one for the window but the light might be better. So it's going to go right up in there and of course it's, it's too long but um, that gets the other one I cut. And then that just Always, anytime you can make little jigs to keep yourself even, uh, you know, I cut both sides of the jig at the exact same time on the saw so that I knew they were the same size, and that'll just help me work quicker and make sure I'm accurate. And it's just a good habit to get into, especially where there's three different sized windows, but there's three windows that are we use the same jig so I know each time I make one it's right so I can make one tack it in with the tack welds fit the actual surround the the plate to the window the back plate make sure it fits nicely and then if I need to make any adjustments I can just cut a couple tacks and do it uh, if it's if it's good then I'll I'll zip it up so just a thought on how uh, how you can do things um, efficiently and consistently
I, I do this with both wood and metal work. Uh, keep clamps handy. I had to run in and get them because I didn't, but you know, tape works too. But man, that's like having an extra hand. So what we've done is, you probably can't see it on camera, but there's about an eighth inch gap that runs along this top seam right here. So rather than try and get our measurement precise, we are, have the luxury of having this frame handy. So what we've done is we've replicated this gap over here on this side. The reason we did that is now I can fit this piece in snug just like it is on the bottom and I don't have to try to guess if I got the right gap. We were able to set that and it did take both of us so it's nice to have um, not only Carla's physical hand but also her her eye on that. And so now that I have this I should have grabbed one more clamp. Note to sell. <laughs> I also grabbed the tape, so. I'm not asking that tape to do anything other than hold that in place a little bit so I can have both hands free to make adjustments and weld. And I know that one's square. Use the square to set that. So that's the biggest window that we have. It is thirty-six by forty-five and a half. So that is a big window. And we got for the whopping price of three ninety-nine, we were able to get eight windows for free uh, from an RV that was uh, damaged, and they were gonna burn it. They're actually going to burn it at the RV park where someone abandoned it. And the windows were in great shape. They're tinted. The screens are in them. Uh, there was no mold or anything to deal with. So, boom. Alright, we got a few more windows to do. We're going to go get at those. Same process if you're doing it. Um, this process seemed to work pretty good for us. If you have any good ideas, please feel free to leave comments. Uh, but, I'm going to go through, tack all the windows in place, then come through and put some weld on it uh, throughout the day and let things cool down. And then we will make, we will be making uh, just some contoured gussets to fit in here. Not really for structure as much as um, right in this area where the window is, I want to be able to get a good seal. So we'll just take some uh, sheet metal and get a contour cut to fit that. Yeah.
So because I I put this tack here, it pulled this backwards, and I didn't push hard enough when I was welding the top one. So whatever. And now it's not flush on the outside. Should have used the face clamp. Windows are all framed in. What we're going to do now is, if you look down here, you can see there is a gap. And this is the back frame, but where the window will be, there will be a gap. And we're going to sheet metal out here. And in order to make the sheet metal work best, Carla made this, which is a rounded template. We did some measurements figured what we thought it would be and she made a template that matches this so what I'm going to do this is the actual window and you can see that that one's going to be close enough to this the swoop that this is going to be but the, the actual window is, is this radius, not this radius. And they are a little bit different. So that's going to be close enough to fit. Well, what's the other one? How about the other template? Oh, uh, they're different? Yeah. One's two and a half and one's oh, no, two and seven enough. eighths. It's close enough. It's two and seven eighths. There's close enough and there's right. <laughs> so we're going to go with right. And it's probably three inches, just like the other windows that okay. we ordered. So, okay, so close enough and right are two different things, whatever. Uh, but, so if it's a three inch, we want to come inside of it a little bit. We want to leave an eighth inch. So then we're going to pull it back that way. Uh, putting the window in, it will actually slide in over this lip and fit. But, get it right. We're going to take a pause on this because we're going to order these. I'm not going to cut these. We're going to get these uh, cut out at a local sheet metal, well, a local metal shop out of quarter inch plate. <clears throat> we're going to turn our attention to the door. So, get fabricating the door.